All right, guys, so any SEO campaign, whether you're a roofer, a plumber, HVAC, no matter what the niche is, you're always going to start with your website, right? And it's very important that as a service-based business, you have a very user-friendly website design. And by user-friendly, you should also have call to actions pretty much anywhere that a visitor could be on the page so that they can contact you or get in touch with you and get a quote, right? And this is why we integrate contact forms as soon as someone lands on our homepage, we have a get a free estimate. So we have a clear call to action here and they can just submit their information. They can request a quote and this gets sent directly to my client. I get a notification as well and then they can also go up to this button and get a free inspection and this is actually going to take them to the contact us page or they can click to call now on mobile we do have a click to call widget so someone can just simply press the button and it's going going to call the client directly and then we also have this nice chat bot here so if someone wants to chat they can put in their information and this chat bot is designed specifically to get their information, their contact name, email, and whatever it is that they need help with. And that gets sent to the client as well. So you can see that if someone lands on this website, they have pretty much any way that they could think of to get in contact with the client, right? They can do the contact form, they can call directly, or they can chat here with the nice chatbot that we have installed on the website. So that's very important guys as a roofing company or any service based company you want to make it very easy for a possible lead to get in touch with you right it's very important that you make it very easy for them to know exactly what they need to do you pretty much have to lay it out for them like hey click here call here get a quote now get a free estimate here you want to lay it out very simple guys so this website right here was a website that i found now they actually ranked pretty highly um, I think in Miami for diff I think it was Miami roofing company but you can see that there's really no clear call to action here I mean they have we do free estimates and it just says click here right I mean you don't even know where this could be taking you you don't know if this is going to take you to the contact us page um, about us page you know and then the phone number is very small up here so it's very it's not even readable and they don't have any call to action button here in the main menu right so you can see if you land on this page you know there's really no contact form submission um, unless you go all the way to the bottom right so you just want to make it very easy on someone that lands on the page and you want to direct them to exactly where you want them to go so you can see the difference between this website and our website on how easy it would be to actually get a quote right so that's the first step guys and of course you want to make sure that you're also tracking calls with something like call rail we can actually track the calls here and make sure they're qualified leads and the client gets notifications as well so they know where their leads are coming from you can see a lot of these actually came from the google my business um, and it's just important guys that you're tracking the phone calls tracking the leads um, if you're using something like elementor you can get elementor db and what this does is just stores all of the contact form submissions here on the back end and you can actually get these uh, forwarded automatically to your email so you know exactly when someone is sending you a contact form submission so that's the first step guys the second step is you're going to want to focus on having a proper website structure now what I mean by website structure is you're primarily going to be looking at these pages here in the menu that we have. So we have about residential roofing, commercial roof repairs, resources, and so on, right? Why this is important is because here you're going to put, you know, your main service pages. And there's different ways to go about this. There's not one specific way that you can structure your website out. Now, in this specific case, my client wanted to go after both residential and commercial so you can see we nicely split up these different services between residential and between commercial and then we have subcategories 
per these uh, pages, right? So this is very important, guys. You want to make sure you have a page for each specific service that you offer, right? And this is why it's so important that you're communicating with your client on what pages they would actually want to target and also what services they can offer. And these are, you're going to be adding new pages um, on a regular basis, you know, on a month to month basis. You're just going to continue adding more service pages depending on the needs of the client and if you're missing any according to the competition, right? And if you want to get an idea on how you should structure your website or your menu, what you can do is you can go in and just do, for an example, Miami Roofing Company. You can go into here and you can look at these top uh, three websites here because if they're ranking highly, they're probably doing something right or Google is simply rewarding their websites. So if we go over to Miami Tech, Miami Roof Tech, you can see that they have home services about us in context. So not much going on here, guys. They really only have services. Um, let me see. It looks like they might only have one uh, service page here. So let's see. Yeah, so it looks like this specific website only has one service page uh, for their services, right? Um, so let's go into another one of these. Uh, roofing from miami.com and again this was a previous website that we looked at and same thing is going on here they only have one service page so if we click on this um, looks like it's really just this one page oh no they have a commercial roofing page here so you can see this page is all about commercial roofing guys so this is what you'd want to do now that's if we were looking in miami let's go over to atlanta so we did atlanta roofing company and we opened up these top two competitors here so if you go over to mr roofer atlanta.com you can see that these guys also have their uh, website split into residential and commercial right so residential and then they have their sub pages here under residential and then commercial right um, and same thing goes with bell roofingco.com they actually have shingle flat roofs commercial so you can see there's not really one way of doing this guys it really depends on the location and your competitors and kind of seeing what's already ranking on the top page and this is going to give you a good indication of what pages you actually need to build out and how to properly structure your categories right so if you were in in this uh, if you were in Atlanta, you'd want to take a look at these pages and you'd probably want to build these out if you offer them. This is also important, guys, because as a roofing company, some companies focus more on residential, some focus more on commercial, some do both. And then you also have uh, roofing companies that specialize in specific types of roofing. For an example, I've seen companies that only do metal roofing or aluminum roofing, TPO roofing. Uh, roof coatings, right? So it really, it's really going to depend on what you specialize in or what services you want to offer. Um, that's also going to have a huge play into how you actually structure your website. Um, so you can do the same thing, guys. For an example, you know, you can do like Atlanta Metal Roofing Company and look at the competitions and look at their websites, see what pages they have so that you can also do the same for your page and then the next thing you want to do guys is you want to go after long tail keywords right so normally these are going to have a lower keyword difficulty score uh, simply because they're longer right versus just roofing company you're targeting like for an example in this case acrylic roof coatings houston right the reason why you want to target other long tail keywords is because especially if you're in a highly competitive city like houston or like dallas or like Los Angeles, right? New York, these cities that have a lot of competition. Let's say you only target, for an example, one keyword like Dallas Roofing Company, and you don't do anything else, you don't add any more pages, it's really going to take a lot of time if you're only targeting that one specific keyword, right? Simply because competition has been there for, you know, 10 plus years on Google. Their websites are a lot more optimized and it's just going to take a lot more time for you to get any anywhere close to them. Right. And this is why you want to go ahead and take advantage of these long tail keywords, 
create these pages so you can start driving in traffic start driving in some calls um, and get your website moving that's one of the most important factors when it comes to increasing your seo is getting those human signals right you want clicks you want form submissions you want calls you want people clicking on your pages all these different signals is going to tell google that your website is relevant to these specific services and it's in this specific location right so that's very important guys to create these pages on these long tail keywords for an example we created a page about acrylic roof coatings and you can see my client here is took the number one spot right away for acrylic roof coatings so this is one example guys we also were managed to rank number two for hell damage roof houston you can see we're right here aluminum roofing houston you can see we're also ranking in the middle of the first page so these are all other keywords guys that you can go after and you're going to have to find these through some keyword research or looking at your competitors websites and kind of seeing what are some weak points that you're seeing that you can take advantage of right and that's what you want to do especially if you're in these highly competitive cities you want to go after these keywords that you can get going so your website can start putting in traffic and start getting more leads right don't just try to focus on one keyword and make it the hardest keyword you can go after right because as a as a new website it's really going to take a lot of time and a lot of optimization to get your website up to the first page right so take advantage of the long tail keywords guys and make sure you're creating relevant content that answers the search query specifically right that's very important once you create this page you want to also focus on your on-page seo and your on-page seo simply means you want to make sure that your actual content is optimized for the search query so you want to make sure that you have your keyword here in the url you also want to have your keyword here in the h1 and then you also want to have related keywords in your supporting headers so acrylic roof coating company and then we have acrylic roof coating in houston why choose our houston acrylic roof coating company so you can see we have these related keywords here in our subheaders that's also going to help increase your on page seo right and then you want to make sure that every page that you have is interlinking to another page so look at this we're interlinking to our roof maintenance page and we're also linking out to our roof repair page and that's very important guys that you're doing this throughout your entire website you want to make sure that every page that you have is interlinking to another service page because it's going to build that relevancy and it's going to help that authority flow throughout your entire website so that's also very important guys and if you want to learn more about how to do proper on-page seo i'll link a video in the description so that you guys can get a full tutorial so those are some of my seo tips guys for roofing companies on how you can improve your local seo i hope you guys learned something new if you did leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one